In table tennis, it's really important that you learn how to move for your wide forehand. That way you can stay balanced. That way you can hit the ideal timing and recover afterwards. Now there's dozens of different ways that you can do it, but today we're gonna focus on three of them. So the first one that we're gonna work on today is just a simple side shuffle to cover to the wide forehand. It's called side shuffle. As you can see on the screen there, there's four different things that I wanna just mention. The first is balance. You really wanna be on your toes, slightly on the inside of your feet, with your knees bent, not too much bouncing. You wanna keep your center of gravity low, leaning forward. As far as the positioning goes, you want your outside foot to initiate the movement. So the outside foot initiates the movement and then both feet move together. When you're timing the ball, you really want your body to be stopped. So you're stopping and then transferring the weight from the right foot to the left foot, from the right foot to the left foot. And then of course, you've gotta be balanced and be able to recover for the next ball. This is the first one that you should learn in table tennis. It's just a simple side shuffle, one forehand and then one from the middle backhand. One from the wide forehand and one from the middle backhand. The second one that we're gonna be doing is a little bit more advanced. It's called the side jump. Now, you can see this one is a sudden surprise movement to the wide forehand. Let's say, for example, you're playing forehands from the middle, and then all of a sudden, bang, you get surprised to that wide forehand. What do you do? Well, you really want to keep your balance before that surprise ball comes. Then when you're surprised, you're going to jump to the wide forehand. You're going to jump with both feet, but instead of your weight transfer going from the right foot to the left foot, when you get surprised, you're going to be going neutral to left, neutral to left, neutral to left, and then you need to be able to recover. When you get surprised, if you put too much weight on the right foot, then you tend to have your weight kind of falling away from the table and the recovery is pretty difficult. So the key here is instead of jumping and putting your weight to the right, you're going to jump with both feet, swing at the same time, land neutral. So both feet are on the floor and transfer the weight forward to the left. The last one that we're going to demonstrate is the most difficult and that is the cross step. When the ball goes to the extreme wide forehand, especially after you play a pivot, you need to be able to jump a longer distance. So this requires you to actually cross as you're stepping. So how do you stay balanced? Well, you're over there playing a forehand from the backhand side. You get surprised to the wide forehand. What's the first thing you do? First, you initiate the movement with the right foot. So take a tiny, tiny step with your right foot. The positioning is you're gonna cross big with your left. The timing is that you're actually landing at the point of contact. So your left foot actually lands at the point of contact. Are you doing it correctly? Well, I hope so because you're gonna to need to be able to recover for the next ball. So it's forehand from the backhand side and then a huge jump to the wide forehand. Again, initiating the movement with the right foot, jumping with the left, and then as soon as you hit, you're immediately recovering. These drills are great. You can work on these with the Power Pong Alpha Plus, Power Pong Delta, or Power Pong Omega. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching.